Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I like totally thought it was Thursday until my son just told me. I said, oh, it's last day of the week for you because his school that he's student teaching at only goes four days a week. He goes, it's only Wednesday. <sighs> Why do things like that have to happen? I made the mistake of going to bed with my hair a little bit too wet. I did let it air dry a little bit and then kind of dried it a little bit, but then I got tired. So now I have this weird funky thing going on with my bangs. My hair, I just didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to deal with having to blow dry it and then straighten it to make sure it was, you know, dry enough before using my straightener. So it's just been a morning and then I find out it's Wednesday. I mean, that whole time I'm thinking, it's okay, it's Thursday. I should have known because I work from home Thursdays and Fridays. So I should have known. Like, I don't know why I didn't know. Um, yeah, anyway, breakfast sandwich, yogurts. I got a couple packages that I was not expecting, but they're products from Perfect Keto, and I don't know if I'm supposed to share them yet. So I need to check my email, see what's going on with that. If there's something that's coming out that I'm supposed to be sharing. I have a new like marketing person, and this person is not as good at telling things. I'm not sure where I was at when I was talking to you this morning because my um, husband came in, so I was talking to him before I left for work. I I don't remember, so we'll just see when I'm editing. I have my, I know I didn't show you my breakfast, so I have my breakfast sandwich here. I have a yogurt because yesterday I was really hungry after eating my breakfast sandwich, and today I have a meeting um, this morning, and I, I think it's, I don't remember what time it is, and just in case it goes like over through lunch, I want to make sure I have, um, something else to eat so I'm bringing that yogurt uh, yesterday I didn't show you my final like counts for my calories and my bites my is it, is it too dark there we go. my bites were like 22 out of 25 and tell me something for those of you still using the Weight Watchers app and still on Weight Watchers is that like an, I mean I don't remember there being like odd numbers like that Maybe there were, I don't remember. See, I have no like recollection um, of what, of, of that. 25 just seems like an odd number. But anyway, I got 22 out of 25. My calories were like 11 something. So I, and yesterday they were 12 something. And this was always my issue with Weight Watchers was I felt like I was not eating enough. But here's the thing, like right now I'm not even, I'm just tracking in I track bites. I'm not trying to stay within my bites. I'm just tracking them just to kind of get some data and to see if me tracking my calories and tracking my bites and what it all comes out to. And, um, but so I'm not like not eating because I don't have enough. Um, but it is interesting though, because you can see yesterday I'd maxed out my bites and I felt like I didn't have anything that was, um, super like these breakfast sandwiches are like six so they're pretty high but they're pretty low calorie they're like 200 and some 230 280 calories so they're pretty low calorie but the bites are pretty high I'm sure because of the bread and the cheese so I don't know it's just interesting that and because I feel like I should be eating more than 1200 calories and definitely more than 1100 and something and yesterday I was a bit hungry but <laughs> to be honest I mean I just did not feel like getting up and making anything else to eat and I already had had all those vegetables and dip at lunchtime and that just didn't sound good and actually nothing sounded good to me it wasn't like I was craving anything which is good which is really good because there's just been a lot lately where I have been like giving into things and binging on things that I shouldn't be. And so it's good that I wasn't like craving anything, but I just kind of did feel like, oh, I wish I kind of had something to grab. And I could have grabbed a yogurt, but that didn't even come to my mind. But it is interesting to see, you know, because I feel like I'm definitely not getting enough calories. My protein has been between like 60 and 90, which is not bad. It's not as high as I would like it to be, but that's not bad. That's not bad. I feel like I'm, I'm getting my protein in pretty good, but I just was why I want to record both of them, track both of them, just to kind of see how it's going. The scale really isn't doing anything. However, um, I'm you got yesterday. <laughs> I was super irritable yesterday, like at work and at home. I mean, just things were like, I mostly at work and things were just grinding my gears. I mean, they were so bad and nothing really even bad was happening, but any little thing that was irritating was like 10 times irritating to me. So I was like, what is wrong with me? And so I pulled out my tracker, my, you know, cycle tracker and yep, 
six days away and this is typical for me five to seven days before my period starts I get a little bit of cramping I get some cravings I get um, I start kind of retaining a little bit of water and I get irritable like uber irritable irritable so all that stuff was happening yesterday even though I've been drinking a ton of water I still couldn't notice in my ankles and stuff I was still retaining some water and the scale is like staying exactly the same which is fine but I feel like that's the reason why is just because all these things are going on but it it I mean it's like I knew I knew myself and I knew my body and I knew something had to been going on because normally you know things get like hectic at work and you just get kind of annoyed with it but this was like sheer on like I am I just want to you know close my door and tell people keep a put a sign out there saying keep out don't come in that's how I felt like every time my phone would ring every time I get a message on our you know inner office messaging system I would just like I don't even want to deal with you but that's how it was yesterday I'm hoping today's a little bit better because I do have to do a new hire onboarding and I don't want to have that attitude during it because people ask a lot of questions, which, you know, I mean, it's normally I'm just like, yeah, that's great. You have, you know, that's why we want to, you know, we're having this so you can ask questions. But on days when I'm feeling like this, it's almost like I just want to get my, do my little spiel and get off of here and leave me alone. <laughs> but I'm hoping I don't have that attitude. I did bring a little bit of coffee. I have that maple brown sugar oat milk in here and I have all my stuff. So my water have my mask which I need to take all my masks in this weekend and clean them I'll probably do it tomorrow since I'm working from home tomorrow alrighty well I'll see you at lunchtime I think in this video today I'm gonna add in my dinner because I'm making the honey mustard chicken and it's not really fallish type themed recipe and the next dinner video I plan on being having it be like a fall like easy fall you know meals type video so I'm um, the couple things that I'm making next week are, is going into it as well so I think I just want to throw tonight's dinner in this video if that way you just have something else in this video because otherwise I don't know what else I'm gonna show you so yeah we'll have honey mustard chicken tonight and I think I'll just do broccoli or something on the side something simple maybe a side salad and broccoli um I do have to check that recipe though to make sure I don't have to do any like marinating beforehand and I can do that at lunch so I need to do that okay I will see you at lunchtime for lunch today, I decided to have one of these cup of soup things. These are absolutely amazing. My friend Krista told me she has these for snacks. Sometimes they're only 50 calories. They're just a nice little kind of warm little aside either for your lunch or like I said, for a snack or something. I have a whole box of these at work and I can make myself up one if I want a little snack, 50 calories. It does have, you know, 500 sodium, but it's not bad. And then I'm having one of the Hot Pockets and there's my soup. For dinner tonight, I'm making honey mustard chicken. I've never made this recipe before. You're gonna need some sort of honey. I'm using this pure sugar-free honey. So you need two and a half tablespoons of that, three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of cornstarch, uh, six ounces of pineapple juice, and a quarter cup of water. That'll be your sauce. You're gonna mix all that up together first and then you're gonna heat it up in a saucepan. And then for the chicken, you're gonna need some chicken. And then I'm using some onion salt, some thyme, some garlic and pepper. So I'm personally doing mine in a casserole dish. The original recipe I linked down below also talks about doing it in the skillet, but I just love things in the, in the oven much better. So I just have all my chicken in here, all the spices on top of that. And now I'm mixing up the honey mustard sauce. So I'm just putting in the cornstarch. I already have the quarter cup of water in there. And then I'm gonna put in the six ounces of pineapple juice. And then we'll add in the honey and the Dijon mustard. This sauce is really good it has such good flavor um i thought that the cornstarch might you know i think that's why you heat it up you you mix it all together before you heat it up so the cornstarch doesn't clump i think if you're you add cornstarch to a hot liquid i think it clumps up so just be careful with that um anyway so i'm just putting everything in there and then i'm going to heat this up until it comes to a boil and then i'm just going to let it simmer a little bit until it starts to thicken up once the cornstarch starts heating up and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour that over top of the chicken. Now, I was a little worried about pouring it over the chicken while it was hot, so I personally let the sauce cool down until it was more kind of like where I could stick my finger in it and it didn't feel super hot because I just felt kind of like, is when it cooked the chicken, is that bad? I don't know. I just wasn't sure about the situation. 
I'm going to pair it with some of this Tuscan seasoned broccoli, which is absolutely amazing. I'm also going to mix some brown rice with some rice cauliflower, and I'm going to make that all together. So here's the chicken before it went into the oven. Just put that sauce over there. I was cooking the side dishes. I cooked this for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. And this is the broccoli, which again, highly recommend this Tuscan seasoned broccoli. This is the cauliflower all mixed up. And here's my final plate. This was really good. That sauce, amazing. That honey mustard sauce, highly, highly recommend this. I will have the original recipe linked down below. <laughs> this is like take four. So the first couple of times um, there was noises and dogs barking. And then the third time I filmed this, um, I had it on slow mode, slow mode. Yeah, slow mo mode. That's what it's called. You guys, it's been a day. Um, work was, I don't even want to talk about work. I don't even want to talk about it. It was one of those days where I was like, okay, bottle of wine day. But I didn't. I didn't open any wine. I'm going to wait till this weekend. Um, but anyway, so I am trying to stick to my routine, my new like, evening routine. have my buddy here who actually just wants to go to bed, but he's in here with me. Um, so one of my things I've been doing is working on editing it each night. I've been trying to do some editing each night because normally I was rushing to get it done in the mornings and I just felt like I was really rushing, not spending a lot of time checking things. That's why I was had such, you know, didn't notice those technical issues until way too late. So sitting here with my computer doing my editing. This is the new computer my husband got me for my birthday slash anniversary gift. So I love it so far. I had to order a mouse because I'm not very good with the touchpad and I have a wireless mouse, but it's one I use at my workstation, my at-home workstation for work. And it's, it'd be kind of a pain to have to switch out the little dongle thing, you know, every time I need to use it on my work computer or use it on this computer, it just would be a pain. So I ordered just a cheap wireless mouse from Amazon. It's really cute. And it was like only like $7.99. You guys, I you know my husband, he's one of those people like when he goes on Amazon, he just looks, he Googles something, Google searches something and he just picks the first thing that's, you know, in a suitable price range. And then he'll show me because he'll like say, order this. I'm like, well, what do you want? Is it just like, like say a mouse? Is it just a wireless mouse that you want? Apparently my cat, my door must not have been closed all the way because the cat just came in and opened the door. Anyway, I'll go on there and tell him, okay, let's look through a lot of things because you don't want to take the first thing, you know, because there's a lot cheaper things on there. So anyway, yeah, I found it and it's really pretty. It lights up, which, you know, it's just a bonus. Anyway, so um, once I get that mouse, I'll be all set up. But my microphone hooks to it fine. I have this, I have got a little like, well, it came with like a little adapter thing um, because all my stuff is USB and this doesn't have any USBs. It has the Thunderbolts. So I ordered a bigger plug-in that can plug in more than one thing if I need to because I have an external hard drive that I'm going to have to plug into this or if I just need the one thing, like my microphone. So I'm going to edit. Um, I have my popcorn here. I have a ice drink here, sparkling ice. And then after that, when I do my budgeting, I have my iPad here to listen to because I need to do my budgeting. I never did it. It's already 6th. I already have due bills coming up due, so I need to get my budget done for October. Speaking of which, and my husband, okay, I don't mean to complain about him because he got me this pretty computer, but <laughs> I keep telling him, I'm going to give you some change, some ones. Not that it really matters, but he, the, the, he has a vending machine at work, and they take cards, and I'm not even kidding, y'all, not even kidding. This week alone, now he has worked five days. There are like 15 charges on our account, 85 cents, 75 cents, dollar ten, dollar thirty-five, because he's getting like snacks and drinks and stuff out of there. <sighs> anyway, I'm just like, ah, I said, you know, I have to write all those down in my budget book. But anyway, I'll probably just group them all together for each night and just do one like one posting in my budget book for each night. But anyhow, okay. It's already 9.43 because I had to take this take like four times. So I'm going to go ahead and get with my editing. Oh, that was one other thing I was going to tell you. So I get a lot of questions about my like nighttime routine and my morning routine. So I'm always talking about how I'm trying to make them very productive. It's not just like stumbling out of bed and 
um, you know, going and getting my coffee or, you know, that, you know, just that kind of thing. I try to make my days very productive and very, um, what's the word? Just, you know, just productive, really. That is the word. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. Um, just to be very productive and getting a lot of stuff done. And so I try to like really take advantage of every like, minute I have and it's just how I am it's just naturally how I am it's not like I'm forcing myself to do it I mean there's days I don't do anything at night but I do try to just be as productive as I can so if y'all want to see um that I do have that kind of planned for a video and I'll just do one that has morning routine if I just be in my regular daily vlog I'll just show you my, my morning routine and just go on with my day and then I'll do like my evening routine in another video with my regular day um but just kind of show you how I, how I stay productive and it's really easy. And if I do this on a regular basis, this is the problem is some days, the weeks that I'm having just really like days like today where I'm just like so busy at work and just so frustrated with things that I tend to just not want to do anything. And then what happens when Saturday comes along, I am spending the entire weekend you know, but besides my regular stuff, like grocery shopping and meal prepping, I like to really have my time to do that and film any videos I need to get filmed that are longer ones, like my book review video. I really need to get that filmed, but I probably won't be able to do it till this weekend. So just things like that. And um, if I stay really productive throughout the week, though, then it's not so much on the weekends. And it's just a little bit each day. It's really not a lot. So I will show you guys kind of my whole routine in the morning and in the evening, and hopefully it'll give you some ideas. But for now, I am going to go ahead and edit and then get to bed. If I get to bed a little bit later tonight, it's okay because I'm working from home tomorrow and the next day. I don't plan on filming tomorrow because I'm kind of ahead in videos and I don't know, we'll see. I don't really plan on it, but we may because I don't think my book review video will go up when I thought it was going to go up. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'll just do it with, if I feel like it, which I usually do, then I'll do it. And apparently I turned my microphone on and it's recording on here. So I need to delete that. And I will talk to you guys when I talk to you probably tomorrow. Bye guys.